what's up youtube fam welcome back to hood updates so guys on today's video we are going to be talking about something completely different when i mean something completely different this issue is about the recent um court clash between the black ass and man fights in um, benin city at those states you know usually when the there's a court clash like this it just end up between two different youths bringing themselves down but in this case it has gone into a more higher level as a matter of fact it's it has not turned into a political issue so recently there has been a lot of voice notes from these two groups you know challenging themselves and all of that you know calling names of political uh, people in the political office and all of that and um, as of two days ago, if I'm not mistaken, or yesterday, um, the Benin Youth has actually put out a list of members of government, officials of government, that is actually sh um, sponsoring this court's um, activities in uh, Medo states. I mean, Benin City to be precise, you know. When I first got this information, I did not decide to jump into it you know I decided to check if actually what um, these guys put out was actually the facts you know and um, to my greatest surprise I mean I actually saw some pictures and some gathering of which I will not be sharing here but I will actually be sharing the main people involved in this um, issue so um, without being wasting more of the time, I don't know for those of you who know about the court clash that's going on between Man Fight and Black Ass in Benin City. Um, recently, two members of the Man Fight were brought down by members of Black Ass, you know, and it has been rumored that a police officer, not just a police officer from the state CID, um, his name is um, Inspector Innocent or something, he was actually involved in this court clash um in carrying out the operation it was alleged you know and um so far i don't know i think he's under sanction or something i don't know how true that is you know so moving ahead it is said that benin city has been a place where courtism has been practiced for a very 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 long time you know and it has eaten deep into the citizens of that city or of that state at large this recent court clash has really brought up a lot of things because the person that was um, brought down recently is not just the fact that he's a member of one confraternity or something, but because he's a philanthropist, you know, he's a man that has helped a lot of youth, including the, um, the fact that brought him down. You know, this man is a man for the people. He's a man that has helped people to get to their prime. He's a man that is, whenever you come across him, he would definitely make sure that you never leave him in a negative way. Instead, you gain positive things from him, you know. He's full of energy. He's a man that the old people love. The mothers, they love him. The kids, they love him, you know, because his presence brings light to the people. But unfortunately, this incident happened to him, you know, and it has brought a lot of issues in Benin City. First, it was the elders of the community where this happened. They went through the traditional way, you know, to lay costs on the people that had hand or that did carry out this operation on this man. And secondly, it was the government um, sending police to sweep up everywhere, you know. I heard about 46 people have been arrested and as I talk to you right now, the whole street of Benin is filled up with security operatives, police, um, even military men and the, the vigilantes, you know. So. Benin is under lock and key um, because of this issue and that brings to my that just brings to my main issue before I go to the names of people involved in this issue you know my my point is what are these people what are they dragging at the end of the day because it seems like people that are involved in these confraternities are very learned people as a matter of fact they are our leaders some of them are even people that make policies for us that make decisions for us And at the end of the day, you hear them um, getting involved in issues like this. So without wasting up much of your time, guys, let me just go straight to the issue, uh, to the names. You know, the first name that was um, stated on this list today um, is 
the vice governor of Edo State, Philip Shaibo. He's actually the deputy governor of Edo State. You know, it is stated in this um, letter of accusation that he is the highest bidder of sponsoring the initiation in or the carrying out of bringing down of people i don't want to use the word you know for security reasons based on youtube um, regulations um but he's actually the highest bidder and he sponsors in bringing down of people just for promoting the mbm which is known as the new black men of africa aka black ass and he's a top member and he's deputy governor of a those states you know these are the things we do with you know during uh, elections you see people do things carry talks around but unfortunately this is how it has ended up the people leading us are actually the people bringing the tears to our mothers in the streets because they know they are up there nothing can ever touch them then they leave the ones in the streets to cry you can investigate any journalist in the world can investigate what i just said so i'm not just making these videos because i actually investigated everything and i can prove any facts anyone can come to me and i'll prove every fact of every name i'm going to list here that they are members of the new black movies of africa aka black ass so the second on the list is without wasting much of our time the second of the list should be Osaze Obagye if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Honorable Osaro Osaze. He's a House of Rep member Oredo Federal Constituency. He's also a member and an active member of Black House in Benin City, Edo State. The third person is Tony Kabaka. He's very, very famous, you know, because he has done a lot of calamity in Benin. But unfortunately, Nigeria is a country where people do things and go free as long as you have influence, as long as you have people in there, you know. So it's free to do whatever you want. If not, especially like to be Kawaka is supposed to be in prison or even uh, be sent to a death sentence for a long time for his atrocities that he has committed in Benin. But unfortunately, these are the people that are left to roam about. You know, he even worked for the previous job government, Adam Sushumole, you know. So, but yeah, it's allowed. This is this is Nigeria, unfortunately. Tony Kabaka is also a very strong member of the Black Ass. And then on the fourth person on this list is Jerry Orobo. Jerry Orobo, for some of those who know him, knows him, maybe he's a very, very active and supportive uh, member of the Black Ass. Um, we also have Jude Imagwe. He's a former SSA to President Good Luck Jonathan on Youth and Students. He's a member of Black Ass. You can imagine a former SSA, special senior advisor to former President Good Luck Jonathan on Youth and Students. And he's a very, very active member of Black Ass and a very supportive one at that. Number six on the list is Blessing Aibe Aibe Baku. Blessing Agbe Baku is a very, very active member of Black Ass NBN, sponsoring the killings in Benin City. Number seven on the list is Matthew Idori Yeweke Keme. Matthew Idori Yeweke former commissioner, House of Rep Edo State, NDDC, also a member of Black Ass, also known as NBN, active known at that. Number 8 is Omobu De Obaibe, aka Bolo, active sponsor in all the calamities that's been going on in Ovia, a member of Edo State Security Network at Oviogbe, Oviogi. Those of you who live at Oviogi, you know who I'm talking about. Security of pretty should take notes, you know. These people, investigate them. You will find out that everything I'm stating here is 100% clear. I'm not saying this to be biased, but at the end of the day, these are the people that have been putting tears in the eyes of people in a dusted Benin city. They have decided there will be no peace among the youth. There will be no love, all because they are fighting for supremacy. So I'll go on to the next list. The next person on my list is Honorable Frank Osawe, a former Egoloka government secretary. 
for he was even the former number one of MBM Blackers Ego of Ya um, area, you know, vice chairman Ego, also a member of MBM Blackers. Number 10 is Honorable Osaseri Nicholas, House of Assembly Ikoba Oka, also a member of Blackers, an active one at that. 11 is Right Honorable Frank Abumere Okie, Speaker Iroh State House of Red, is also a very active and a sponsoring member of Blackers. Number 12 is Honorable Valentine Owamagbe Asue, DVD Oil, aka DVD Oil. You know, he is even um, um, contesting for the Senate those states, Senate District, you know, those states and Territorial District. A active, an active member of Black House sponsoring the calamities happening in Benin just for power for the next 2024 elections and all that, you know. On next on the list is Honorable Patrick Ilobe, former min uh, minority, minority uh, those states House of Assembly, a member of NBM aka Black House. Number 14 is Osareti Okunrobo aka Osareti Japan, CEO First Bar Benin City, an active and sponsoring member of NBM aka Black House. Number 15 is Harrison Efe Ogbe Ogenware aka Classic, former number one Uniben. I mean, he was a former number one man in Uniben and still very active in Ego and Ovia, sponsoring the destruction. He even bought, went as far as buying an AK for the community just to sponsor the atrocities going on in Benin City. You know, and um, when you come to number 16, we have Osareti Okunrobo, AKA Osareti Japan. I just mentioned his name before. So I shouldn't add in uh, for the second time. So as I was saying before, these whole names that I just mentioned are proven, you know, for those, like I said, if you want to know if they are actually um, what I just named them to be, you could reach me in any way you want to reach. My WhatsApp number is there, you know, and I'll prove it to you. I'll send you pictures of them being in the garden and activities we've had in the past and in the present as well, you know, even some of the hidden pictures that were sent to me. So these are the Benin youths that put this list together and um, because the youth have come together and decide to make Edo State and Benin City precisely to be a better place for everyone to live, I am going to leave this list out there, you know. So I think it's high time for the federal government to get involved in this. You know, this has gone beyond the state government because as it seems right now, the state government are fully involved in these confraternity activities, which is bringing tears to families, which is bringing tears to mothers, fathers, brothers and sisters. You know, a lot of souls has been lost in these calamities. At the end of the day, just for a sole benefit of a few who thinks they are both others. So I think it's time the federal government involved in this whole minas and make sure this whole thing come to uh, 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 a solution comes at the end of the day for all this whole nonsense to stop. So guys, let me not waste much of your time. This is Hood Update. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.